Hi guys, welcome back to my BrevX VS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about the banner which is gonna come on this week. And yes, by the way, this is simply prediction because yes, we get another global exclusive unit. However, I must say, I'm kinda disappointed, okay? So let's take a look on this summer olive. So, Yes, I can say that C is a charge based character like Wilk and Esther because you can see the description that her limit press is going to charge uh, her attack, okay, and also boost the damage. So I can say maybe her strongest attack is not her SLP, but it is her abilities, okay. I'm okay with that, but again, that means you need to take quite a long time, okay, and again, Maybe that's not that big problem on class of wheels because yes, you gonna build morale on that class of wheels. Okay, so I believe it takes more than five turns to build morale, etc. So yeah, kind of okay, but oh god, it is SLB. To be honest, okay, let me be honest. Sorry, I'm not trying to be negative here, but. SLB is another way they say I'm lazy to design character. Sorry, okay. Maybe it's not like that on Gumi headquarter or whatever, but that's the way I see SLB character, okay? Because let's let's be honest. If you design SLB character, then that means you don't need to design the second character sprite and abilities. So again, it is easier right and yes from what i can remember it is the first time global exclusive get slb so what i'm afraid is the next global exclusive will become and will be another slb character i hope that's not true but uh, god i'm really not excited because of this okay sorry sorry it doesn't mean she will be bad character, okay? It is simply a matter of preference. So, yeah, sorry for complaining. But if you take a look on her Trust Mastery Reward and STMR, I can say that her Trust Mastery Reward and STMR are a combination, okay? Because the STMR is pretty good magic weapon, but not many magic DPS able to equip gun. That's when you equip her Trust Mastery Reward because the effect is great, okay? It enable you to equip gun, 60% magic and 50% limit burst damage. Something that meta on today's standard, okay? So very nice combination. So yes, pretty nice I can say. And another thing I want to complain is, it seems that she will become another fire elemental attacker. But again, yes, maybe they want to tempt you to pull for that you from Robert Nastre Fun who able to imperil 160% fire, okay? So, yes, let's just see what she can do, but yeah, I cannot lie to you, okay? I'm kind of disappointed for this olive. What do you think? Please leave it on the comment. Now, let's move to the next strange NVA characters. The first character is Ruby Can, and Yes, I say strange because this character should get his NVA awakening about five months ago, okay, on March. But yes, we get it right now. Sure, I know they probably buff him like uh, Midiana, but why? Why Ruby can't? And Barbaricia, because again, from what I see here, it is simply a laziness. Because, yeah, why they don't make NVA unit awakening? I mean, the global original unit like Selfie, Aster, you name it, okay? Why they don't pick that character? Instead, they go back for Final Fantasy IV characters. Hello oh, guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. I really don't want to complain, but seeing this global 
exclusive banner really this time okay usually i always excited seeing global original unit but this month oh seeing slb and then it's simply so random guys it's simply so random because why ruby can because he is a fire elemental attacker and ruby can himself is not probably not that because he is a four star character so i believe you have lots of him and you probably able to make him into x plus three but why do you want to do that because on the japan version his limit burst only did like 230 times and because we getting it late maybe they make him into like 300 times fire damage modifier that's nice but that's it okay that's for ruby can now let's move to the next one barbaricia so barbaricia here is also about the same like ruby can because yes she is a win but ruby can is fire elemental damage dealer but Ru i mean barbaricia has something interesting she can increase tornado damage modifier and her stmr also gives tornado damage modifier like 100 times on plus three so yes descent okay she can cast like 420 times tornado damage modifier that's quite good but tornado is hard to chain and you probably won't use it so again NVA, uninteresting NVA, late NVA, and you probably won't use her, okay, because she is late, but at least her STMR is decent because it gives you 50% human killer, so yes, pretty nice, but other than that, I don't think anything interesting, okay, only trust master reward and STMR, okay, so simply, if you also prefer this, TMR and STMR simply use your UOC because if you are like me, you have lots of UOC. But yeah, I have like 234 UOC. Okay, why I actually global? Okay, why they don't make it able to exchange four characters fragment or whatever? Because I think five stars is not interesting. But again, whatever. Okay. This week, I simply not excited. So the final question, should you summon? Yes, I know that uh, this Olive banner gives you premium card if you do the step up. But again, when I read the card description, it is still hard to decide whether you should get the card or not. I will review the card later when the data is out but where is this static attack boost i don't see static attack boost okay uh, what i see is limit burst damage modifier which is also good okay depends on how many damage modifier boost we get from the card but at this time i really cannot say a lot about it and maybe the card is the only reason why you need to pull on this better that's all i want to say okay because like i said I kind of hate SLB character, so please eh, remember this is really subjective opinion, okay, sorry. And don't summon if the card turn out to be trash. And yes, I simply gonna wait for Senogears and near collaboration because really guys, whew, SLB Global Original, I really cannot say how disappointed i am okay but again i have a take a look on the character so sorry for complaining a lot on this video but really guys this is the first time global unit kind of disappoint me okay but yeah let's just see the only exciting news we get on this week is finally we get daily fragment dungeon and that's it okay that's the only thing that makes me quite happy because finally we can farm fragments okay so yep i think that's all you need to know about this week this is simply prediction sorry for blabbering okay please leave the comment what do you think about 
uh, SLB Global Original Unit. Are you like me? Okay. Are you the same as me? I mean, I mean, kind of disappointed of SLB character or not? Okay. So yeah, please leave that comment. Leave the comment. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave XTS video. Bye bye guys.